everyone, I'm Hugo. And I am Jake. And this is The Bible Reloaded, and we're here today to do something special. If you've seen our other movie review series, you know that one of uh, the first movie we did is God's Not Dead. Was it the first? It was the first, yeah. Oh wow, well that one that one was a it was a lot of fun. God's Not Dead was one of those little gems uh, in in Christian filmmaking where it was cringy bad and it also had like this cast of 90s actors that used to be famous but they're no longer famous fan favorites like Kevin Sorbo or Dean Cain and it was just it was so fantastic and I never thought we'd be able to capture the magic we had that first time around until the other day I found myself on Facebook and saw a little video for God's Not Dead 2 and oh. I had heard I had heard this movie was coming out I thought to myself oh god please Please let God's Not Dead 2 come out so we can fucking review it. And I'm so excited. The trailer is out. So I think today we're going to take a minute to just appreciate what's coming to us, really. Because this is a day of bounty, I think, for us all. This is certainly a day to be thankful. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check out the trailer for God's Not Dead 2. In this day and age, people seem to forget that the most basic human right of all is the right to believe. So this guy just said, the most basic human right is the right to believe. Now, I'm not a believer, and maybe he's correct. I, however, would put the most basic human right under food and shelter and water. Like, I think Those are the most basic human rights, right? Probably that and just the general concept of freedom and autonomy. I don't know if belief... Belief is probably in there somewhere, but I wouldn't necessarily tout that as the first thing. No, nor, nor the most basic. Uh, we did get a shot of, of the Asian guy from, from the, the first movie who was the convert, sort of. He's the best actor they could get back from the first one, probably. <laughs> Even the fucking Josh wouldn't come back, probably. Goddamn Josh. Blame him. Still didn't get his dick wet from his bitchy girlfriend. Mm. I'm not saying she has to put out. I'm just saying he should get a reward for putting up with her. And not because she didn't put out, because she was a bitch. You can do whatever you want. You don't have to have sex. But come on, that guy earned it. Even though he was an asshole to Kevin Sorbo. Poor Kevin. Teach, don't preach. That's what we say. That's what, that's what we go outside the Capitol building. We're like, ah, don't, don't do your preaching. So if you can't tell this, uh let's say, episode in the saga of God's Not Dead is going to be about yeah. prayer and religious themes in schools. Uh, it's interesting to me that they think this is even a debate that's being had. It's not. I'm pretty sure we're all on the same page that you can't teach religion in a public school, at least not within the context that the religion is correct. I haven't heard someone bring this up in a serious manner in, like... Since Bush was president, really? Maybe right after Obama was, became president and people were like, ah, he's, gonna, he's a Muslim. I don't think that people give a shit about this sort of thing. Like, are people resting on the fact that we need to teach religion in schools still? I didn't know anyone was actually on that train. I think even most Christians would agree that religion is kind of a thing you do in church and at home. It's not something that you teach in public schools, at least not in the manner that uh, I think they would want to with the people who have written this movie. Well, I mean, if you can teach religion in schools, you can teach any religion in school, right? I agree. So I could, I could teach all sorts of crazy shit to your kids if... That's the door you want to open. No prayers. No moments of silence. Nothing. Whoa. Was she the principal? I think she was the angry principals. I don't know. All I can say is that Melissa Joan Hart has joined the cast of this movie, and God, I I don't know if this is a step up or, or down from, like, Clarissa Explains It All, but it's definitely a step down from Sabrina. Uh, <laughs> she and, was a witch in that, which is, which is bad. If you watch any of our Chick Check videos, you know you cannot... Thou shalt not Witchington. And, you know, there's some actors in these movies like this that I sometimes think, well, maybe they're just looking for work. You know what I mean? Because sometimes I assume after being a child actor, kind of mm. a young actor in your 20s, mm. uh, and the work peters out, maybe you want to do some other stuff. Not MJH. No, Melissa Joan Hart, I actually, at the, right when we started this show, I had a brief interaction with her on Twitter. Did you? She is, she is definitely, yeah, I, yeah, I did. Uh, she's definitely Christian and not just Christian. She, she was probably pretty excited to be in this movie so oh that's yeah I, feel I, how... I, I say that's too bad i don't care that she believes i'm just sad that my closest connection to the talking cat is you 
Really? Yeah. That's not bad. Yes. I'll, I'll, they should have gotten the cat for the movie. It was a better actor. Think of the other children out there who are subjected to the... In a confirmed Josh sighting, and his jaw is still as tightly wound as it was before, I assume still hasn't gotten his rocks off. Is that his... Is, was that him? He looks so different. Oh, it was him. Look at him. Mm. Hold on. Let me get a picture next Josh. to him. Is that Josh or is Look that just Josh. some other white brunette kid? It's hard to if tell. It's not Josh. It's amazing. They must have like a factory where they make them. Maybe it isn't. That's what I'm saying, man. Is it? Oh man, I don't know. <laughs> Look at it's so no, close. Seriously. The bone structure is very similar. I can't even tell if it's not Josh. Maybe they got a different actor to play Josh because that kid was too good for God's Not Dead too, which says a lot. So they uh, got a kid who looks almost exactly the same. I have no idea. Their repressive belief system. So this guy just said something about regressive uh, belief systems, making me assume that he is the bad guy. But oh, he's at, definitely the bad guy. Look at his face. He's the bad guy in every movie he's ever been in. He's the corporate at, dick. Yeah, but but look at Haley Joel Osment's cousin right there. Oh, he is sexy. Just Joel Osment. <laughs> yeah, he's looking good. They probably get it on. <laughs> oh, I can't. I can't confirm that that's Joel Osment or that Joel Osment exists. If we sit by and do nothing, the pressure that we're feeling today will mean persecution tomorrow. We're at war. I just saw so many cameos by all my favorite characters. You have First Chinese off, Asian kid. Chi Chinese Asian kid. I'm pretty sure we saw both halves of the biracial pastoral bromance. I could oh, be did wrong. We? There's this is the white version of the biracial pastoral bromance right there. He's apparently in charge of this really awesome church now, which is good for him. I like a story arc that continues a character. I like to see where he is after he saw Kevin Sorbo die horrifically at the end of the film, right before the really fantastic Newsboys conference. Oh, don't you worry. If you like the Newsboys, they're coming back. And don't you Ooh. worry, they did not write a new song. <laughs> they didn't? <laughs> just the same fucking song. they just still the Newsboys. Is is this the, the, the darker version of the biracial pastoral bromance? I don't know. It's been so long since I saw the first movie, and it was a terrible torrent rip, so I don't even remember. <laughs> I'm going to assume it is... For now, I don't know. They could also just change actors for the different characters, and I so I have no idea. But I'm gonna go with a biracial pastoral bromance, still going strong, on the tugboat of friendship. And he says we're at war. The only step forward from watching Kevin Sorbo die via car accident, allegedly driven by Dean Kane, is starting a war. I don't follow. I don't know why those two things would be related to one another. I'm pretty sure those two guys are going to go to war. What makes nonviolence so radical is its unwavering commitment to a nonviolent approach. What makes nonviolence so radical is its unwavering commitment to a nonviolent approach. I think that's word nonsense. That's the closest thing to a sentence they could get Melissa Joan Hart to say. <laughs> poor, poor MJH! I don't have Sabrina. anything against Melissa Joan Hart as a person. I have something against her agent and the fact that they thought this would be a decent that career was, move. But That was the worst line I've ever heard. That's not... What? No. <laughs> this, is peop this is for people who think that teachers get in front of students and just speak inspirationally for an hour a day for an entire year and don't actually give facts. They're just the kind of teachers like, how do I reach these kids? Endlessly why, inspirational Robin Williams. Why are, they, why are Williams. they from a Russian gulag? How do I reach these kids? It's how it is in the dark, the dark times. <laughs> All right. Okay. I guarantee uh, this bitch right here, though, about to talk, nothing smart's going to happen. Isn't that sort of like what Jesus meant when he said that we should love our enemies? Okay, just so for anyone that, that's wondering, I have not seen this yet. This is my first run through of this. I called that shit. Yeah, yeah. If this is one of those things I'm close enough to... Uh, high school, college age that I can remember this is the kind of thing that would come out of someone's mouth and everyone in the class would collectively cringe like, oh, why are we bringing this up? <laughs> Not because they're anti-religion, just because they're aware that it's generally a taboo to bring up your religion uh, in the context of a public forum, which is kind of mm -hmm. what a public school classroom is. <coughs> I have the sneaking suspicion that, Mel that Melissa Joan Hart will be our convert. Is she is she not the good guy here? Is You'll, she the, is she the Dean Kane slash Sorbo? You'll see what happens. Yes, you have heard it said, love your neighbor and hate your enemy. 
but I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. Oh, I missed it. Pray for those who persecute you. Damn you and your purity. Yeah, if you can't tell, Melissa Joan Hart's gonna be the kind of Josh of the movie. Uh, mm. She's going to be the good Christian person who's just being put down by the system. That's too mm. bad. I was vote. I was in internally. I was. I was putting my best foot forward in a vote for a Chinese Asian kid convert to be new Josh. But instead, <laughs> instead we got Sabrina. One of your students sent a text to their parents. Oh, not Josh sent a text to his parents. He's tattling on Melissa Joan Hart. This is huge. This is big stuff. Are you riveted? Hugo, are you riveted? No. Oh. Okay. I don't know how else to titillate you. Did this happen? If you're asking whether I responded to a student's question, yes. Bitch, you also said that you should pray. So, I have taught before, and they tell you when you go in, you have to be pretty even-handed. Right. So, she can say, I think that you should pray for your enemies. However, she has to do it in a way that isn't, because uh, she's in an, in an authority position. It's a thin line between giving an opinion and pushing that opinion. She could probably say, and it'd be all right, like, in the Bible, that's what that says, and contextualize right. it, but you can't just say it as if it's a fact. Yeah, and again, I'm not yeah. saying that if this, this were to happen in real life or whatever, this is the biggest straw man bullshit no. ever, it's God's not dead too, what do you expect? But my point would be, if in this situation, of course, there's no need for a lawsuit, the idea is just that you probably, as a teacher, shouldn't be <laughs> pushing religion, and I'm not saying, again, that's the intent of the character, but it's hard to relate this to real life because the situation is so constructed in order to try and push a narrative. It's hard to relate it back to reality. I agree. The The, the problem with this shot, though, in, in all seriousness, is that strong black female principal is so much hotter than Melissa Joan Hart. <laughs> like, that black dress is doing it. And your answer incorporated the words of Jesus. Whoa! They have a, a tiny tribunal happening. Yeah. A small you know, lawyer-clad uh, 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 hearing. This is where the lawyers and the terrible administration tell her that she has to stop doing her Christianity thing. And it'll actually, <laughs> in the movie, if I had to guess, it'd probably be fairly reasonable at first. I would guess they tell her, like, hey, knock it off. And then in the movie, she's she'll probably make a ground. decision. Stand her ground. Which, yeah. honestly, it didn't even seem like in the beginning she was, like, that gung-ho about it. She was yeah. just responding to a student. But no. She's got to go and prove her religious devotion. Frankly, not Josh that sent the text is kind of a douchebag for for sending that text anyway. I mean, it's not that big a deal. I think he probably could have asked the teacher uh, after class or maybe even during it, being like, hey, you know, not all of us are Christian. And then maybe she would have had an opportunity to backpedal. People misspeak. Sure. It's fine. I'm not even mad at Melissa Joan Hart's character for saying that shit. No. I am, however, mad at my life for not having those obviously super luxurious chairs in my life. Look at that. It's beautiful. Dude. What were you thinking, Grace? The Thollies are asking that you be fired, plus revocation of your teaching certificate. Whoa. This sexy guy is talking about being, getting fired and stuff, but I'm too worried about him being sexy. I feel like Melissa Joan Hart and everything she's ever been in, she always reaches up as far as relationships go. Harvey Kinkle, way too good for Melissa Joan Hart, <laughs> even in her prime. Harvey yeah. Kinkle was a dream, and that's a fact. Yeah, this is Jesse Metcalf of John Tucker Must Die fame. You I don't that? think you can call anything related to the movie John Tucker Must Die a claim to fame, but if you feel the need to visit his IMDb page, you can do so. He was also uh, the, the Van McNulty in Smallville. That's it. He's in some other shit. That was pretty much it. That's. I'm sorry, Jesse Metcalf. You're good looking, though. Good for you. Yeah, dude, come on. There's no way he's getting with MJH. She's wearing a fucking elephant shirt. How do we make this go away and not get blood on our hands? Whoa, what? <laughs> that lawyer is so, taking this, so this fucking serious. so seriously. I think he thinks he's in like a Michael Crichton book. Yeah. He's like, how do we do this without getting on the president's plane? And someone's like, we don't have we don't have to do that. You can go through the appellate courts. It's fine. It's good. We just have to fill out some paperwork. He's like, get off my plane. This is like, actually not, fairly straightforward not, as far as legal proceedings go. This isn't that big of a deal. You're not Harrison Ford. It's okay. It's fine. This is the sum of all fears. Okay, now that's that's Tom Clancy. You're you're switching. We let the ACLU do it. We're going to prove once and for all 
that God is dead. <laughs> Congressman <laughs> saying shit this against guy, the grain. He's got the balls to say it. This guy's going to be the new Kevin Sorbo, and it's going to mm. be beautiful. I don't know how this guy's going to die, but he's going to die. So you know probably what? Dean Cain with a blimp is going to run into him. Or <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> I'm not in the matter of Thawley versus Wesley. No, Ernie. <laughs> Ernie Hudson. Ernie Hudson. Oh, no! You were the only Ghostbuster I still liked. Oh, uh, nah, uh, come on, you can't. Venkman? Okay, Bill Murray, you know Bill what? Bill Murray's I think great. Bill Murray's very funny, but I think in the past couple years, I think people have inflated Bill Murray's ego to be bigger than it needs to be. I only think it's because he's old and we want to treasure him. Mr. Kane will insist faith isn't on trial here. Wait, he's also a lawyer? That guy's the lawyer, yeah, he's gonna be the- Oh, he's, he's not the, he's not the, the husband or whatever? No. All right. If they don't make out, though, I'm gonna be kind of pissed. I know. I know Melissa Joan Hart's married in real life, and uh, she probably wouldn't do that. Kind of like how uh, Kirk Cameron refuses to kiss anyone that's not his wife in a film. That's ridiculous. Kirk Cameron. That's the only chance you have. Kirk Cameron could fake. slay. I'm just saying. <laughs> like, if he, if Kirk Cameron wanted to be promiscuous, he could do so at will. But that is exactly what is on trial. Wait, 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 wait. Is he on the jury? The white guy from the biracial pastoral bromance? I think he might be. Oh, so are we going to get some, like, a, a, a mix of, like, I don't know, freedom writers, which is a very inspirational sort of uh, classroom uh, uh, drama, s uh, slash 12 Angry Men? See, I was thinking it's going to be like a To Kill a Mockingbird, 12 Angry Men, Jesus mashup, and Ooh, that was what go. I was taking from it. There you go, there you go. I'm just excited for at least half of the biracial pastoral bromance to be in this. Plus, I like saying that phrase. Clearly. You're looking to prove that Jesus Christ existed? Oh, that's ridiculous. When you're in trial, that's not the time. That is not the time. <laughs> I love these characters. Oh my god, this guy's gonna be the slimiest douchebag fake atheist ever. It's gonna be beautiful. Like, I'm gonna fucking bask in this guy and how he's handing it up. I can't even tell you how excited I am. <laughs> he's, he's just... I think they wrote his script by just copy and pasting random R atheism Reddit posts yep <laughs> prove just jesus exists shit lord oh fuck you jesse metcalf good looking god he's good looking i hate what people like your clients stand for and what they're doing to our society what are they doing to the society i mean they're not very good for like education as far as the sciences are concerned they haven't really touched math yet we'll see what happens there uh but but i mean like for the most part, the majority of Christians are are pretty reasonable people, right? I think so, here? in day-to-day -day like, life, yeah. Yeah, in day-to-day -day life. Like, uh, the whole you people thing is such a weird straw man. For, and I know that uh, some atheists are like that. Like, there's a guy the other day that called them, like, second-class citizens. Believers. Which is, which is insane considering that, like, most people in the United States are believers. I like, know. Whether you're an atheist or not, you have to, un you know that most people are religious, right? Like, as uh, much as I do think religion is bullshit, like, we are I, in the minority as far as society goes right now, so. Yeah, I don't know. You don't can't know. call the majority of people second class citizens. That's insane. You're under arrest. These people. What are they under arrest for? Now Being I'm so Christian. intrigued. Okay. The end of this movie is going to be the Christian Holocaust. That's the surprise. Do you think? And I'm okay. So th this looks like confirmed biracial pastoral bromance. I'm just saying. Look at that. Except bromance. it's getting split up. And also, he decided deep V no undershirt. God, it's palpable the the mm. tension between the two. I know. I think he's worked out a little bit. He looks less soft than last time. He got the phone call from his agent. Buckle up, buddy. God's not dead, too. When he hit the gym that day. They're looking to destroy you. Everyone's telling me to stay out of it. What is your heart telling you to do? I would rather stand with God and be judged by the world than stand with the world and be judged by God. Boom! There's your big one. Is she Josh? I, I know Melissa Joan Hart is Josh, but is she also Josh? Are we getting I... two versions of Josh here? I think Josh, his his entire spirit and being has found a place in the hearts of all the main characters, and they're all going to be the Josh. <laughs> I love that uh, Jesse Metcalf here is catching up on his reading while he's supposed to be litigating. Good for him. Man, myth, messiah. I hope his last crescendo, his last stand in the courtroom is going to be like he proves God exists instead of impressive. a shitty philosophy. 
class where someone yells at Kevin Sorbo for 15 minutes. I bet Ernie Hudson is going to break lots of laws as far as his ruling, <laughs> if I had to guess. Precedent is set that Jesus is Lord. I'm not going to be afraid to say the name Jesus. Oh, are people, <laughs> do, do people have a, a Jesus phobia? Are people phobic of that? I think that some religious people, the very, very, uh, the kind of people who watch God's Not Dead unironically, I think they legitimately think that people telling them like, hey, you know, I don't really want to hear about this right now. Mm -hmm. uh, I think they take that as if people are shitting on them personally, and it's not. <laughs> Most people just don't want to hear about your religion if they're not a part of it. That's great. If they want to have a discussion, that's great, but you, you can't assume everyone wants to hear your spiel all the time. Uh, side note, um, I used to have sort of a crush on Melissa Joan Hart. And she doesn't have... I, I thought she had more, more kissable lips going on back then. I Honestly, thought she was more voluptuous. Melissa Joan Hart has not aged the worst out of 90s No, she looks normal, but I people. just feel like she's got less... Uh, I don't know. It makes me want to hump less. Let's say that. Not that she's Christian. Just based upon, like, drunken, met in a bar. She's not choice number one. Suddenly. Which was is weird for me, because it was like her and Kimberly from Power Rangers when I was a kid. <laughs> Whoa, this is the first <laughs> time anyone's cheered for Jesse Metcalf, and he is eating it up. Uh, so did the movie God... No, because it couldn't, because the character is in it. Why is God's Not Dead a thing in this universe? Like, Because the guy says it in that hearing. Okay. I assume maybe that's on C-SPAN, or some other made-up network for this film. Oh, this is gonna be beautiful. This is gonna be so freaking good. You know what I haven't noticed? Any more uh, Asian convert kid. Kind of disappointed. I'm assuming he'll be in the beginning, but more of a cameo. Cause He's we gonna be our bridge. On, we, were, we had, were on bated breath waiting to see what happened to the exchange student from the first movie. <laughs> I think his arc was pretty wrapped up in the first one. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Did you see that old guy? Yeah, he was getting it. Woo! Oh man! Thanks, Jesus, big time. That guy Ups. is acting. If you ever, if you're like, <laughs> if we're talking to an alien race and they're like, "What's acting? What That's this it. guy is doing? This is acting." <laughs> That's Pat Boone, by the way, of Pat Boone fame. <laughs> like oh, look at biracial pastoral bromance edging. Oh my God! There, there's. <laughs> <laughs> so not climaxing right now. Just holding it in. Gotta close your eyes and think of other things. They're fellowshipping so hard right now. Oh, just fellowshipping all up all up in that bitch. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Is the Asian kid gonna get lucky? I think he is. With a pretty attractive uh dumb bitch? He's gonna get to Christian third base. What's Christian third base? Boggle. <laughs> They're doing candlelight vigil for Melissa Joan Hart and Pat Boone. I think Pat Boone's Melissa Joan Hart's dad. <laughs> I think I think it's just Pat Boone as himself Maybe. inviting himself into the situation. He's like, remember me, guys? He's still Pat Boone. Look at him. Look at him act right there with his mouth open. He is aghast at what is happening. Yeah, I, was gonna I believe say, it. I was going to use the same word. It must mean Pat Boone's doing Pat Boone things. He's isn't even part of the trailer there's like ah we got these guys they wanted to remind you that the newsboys are a thing because they keep appearing because i assume their record sales probably go up when these movies come out <laughs> good for the newsboys isn't it, i hear one of them's an atheist mm, never heard that was we got a ton of comments on it last time like oh one of the newsboys is an atheist all right maybe i don't know unconfirmed you know what is confirmed though product in that hair <laughs> expensive product too he spares no expense that's what he uses that newsboys money for if we're going to insist that a Christian's right to believe is subordinate to all other rights, then it's not a right. What? It's not subordinate to all other rights. No. It's just subordinate in general to <sighs> to the, the whole list of rights. They're going like to take it's this as whole... subordinate as the other ones. When rights come into conflict, because sometimes they do. That's just a fact. Sure. Sometimes your right to want to do something conflicts with someone's right to whatever. Usually there's sort of a, a common sense measure that has to be taken and where is the least damage done and whose rights are infringed upon the most or least by doing a thing. Yeah. Uh, for instance, the most recent example would be Kim Davis. Kim sure. Davis isn't allowed to tell people to tell gay people they can't get married. 
even if her religious rights are being trampled upon, which they're not, by the way. They're yeah. not, because she doesn't have the right to do that in the first place. But even if she did, the rights of the people to get married are on the same level as hers, but hers would be hurting other people. You see the difference? You see yeah. what I'm saying? Again, though, she doesn't have the right to do it in the first place, but it's the closest uh, to this situation I can even think of, because honestly, that doesn't happen all that often. When people use religious freedom as being trampled upon, nine times out of ten, it's not. So it's hard to find an example that's legitimate, if I'm being real here. Way to take this seriously, Hugo. Really bringing me down. <laughs> you are the boy I charge you with the- Whoa! <laughs> That was Ernie an Ernie Hudson, Hudson smash! <laughs> I can't believe they did a gavel break. That's so ridiculous. <laughs> that wasn't just a gavel break. That was an Ernie Hudson gavel break. Yeah, That's no. something I never thought I'd see. Ugh. This is better than Fallout 4 and Star Wars coming out in the same year. I accept the charge because I have nothing but contempt for these proceedings. Oh, so he's going to jail then? Okay. Yeah, he's definitely going to jail and he, should, uh, he deserves that because he openly declared... Contempt of court, which I is bet, uh, illegal. I, that's a, that's I don't think I've ever heard anyone openly say I find I'm I am in I find this courtroom to be in contempt. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like they actually actually declared I'm in contempt of court. <laughs> that's an insane thing to do. Well, that's mm. a bold strategy. Let's see how it works out for him. <laughs> it could just work, Cotton. Surprisingly, I bet it will. God's not there. He's surely alive. So, I think that's it. Is there a stinger at the end? I don't think so. No. But guess what? He's living. What? Comes out April Fool's Day, 2016, which at first made me think, nah, they're fucking with me. Good one. Good one, Ernie Hudson, because this is obviously an Ernie Hudson type prank that he's not famous for that I just made up. But, uh, uh, no, it is really actually coming out April 1st, 2016. Uh, I may actually go pay for this one. I'm thinking about it, but I don't really want to be in an audience full of people who are there. To... But then again, it, it's almost to the point where I borderline think if I went to go pay to see God's Not Dead, I think half the audience would also be atheists making fun of it. <laughs> you know what I mean? At this so, point, maybe. The last one did relatively well in, in the box office. For a Christian film, uh, people were talking about it, and it got a little bit of a buzz for like a week. Um, my I... girlfriend's sister, who has two kids loves that movie and her kids love that movie your so, girlfriend's sister who has two kids is not a smart woman <laughs> i don't i don't i've never met her she's totally no she's totally fine like she's she's a mo i would consider her a pretty moderate christian actually for the most part so mm -hmm. it is interesting that the sort of weird extreme views espoused in these movies do speak to moderate christians at least on some level there are some who don't blatantly well, see through it see the thing about it is it's not like anti-gay or it's not like a Ray Comfort version of extreme where it's like taking rights away from other people. It's just saying I want more of my rights, which yeah. which is something that most people identify with in it's general. It's Christians saying we want special privilege under the guise of saying it's rights and thinking that it's rights because they had these privileges in the past, but they do not any longer and don't like it. And I'm not saying it's like an evil ulterior motive. I just think... Uh, some people don't realize that they're not allowed to do certain things and where their rights end and others begin. But anyway, that's God's Not Dead 2. We'll definitely be checking that out. I am so what excited. What I assume will happen it. is if we do go pay and see it, mm -hmm. uh, then we'll probably do a review then and then maybe another review when it comes out on DVD that's thorough. I don't know. Or if we can maybe uh, magically, by the will of the Lord, find a copy of it on the internet before it releases, <laughs> then we'll do it then. We'll see what yeah, happens. Maybe. Uh, yeah, we'll see what the situation is. If it's, if it's too low quality to even assess, then we won't do that. But I'm looking forward already to God's Not Dead 3, where they bring the likes of, like, Freddie Prince Jr. out. I would like to see some of the failed Mickey Mouse Club, some All That cast members. Oh, Keenan. Get Keenan in there. No, Keenan's doing Saturday Night Live. You gotta get Kel. Okay, we can get Kel. Kel's not doing shit. <laughs> okay. Kel's probably in a crack house right now. Just, oh, who loves crack? Kel I loves do, I crack. do, I do, I do. Oh. <sighs> that was crack noise. I don't know what crack sounds like. They're probably just like that, breathing it in. I have an idea of what crack sounds like, but I guess I've never, I've never, I've smoked it, but I've not inhaled. 
He just like the flavor, like a fine cigar. Like this crack yeah. is delicious. You should have just smoked crack for the flavor, for the mouthfeel. Oh, okay. So oh, thanks, thanks everyone. Which is... uh, if you want to check out our first review of God's Not Dead, you can check it out here. That was like our first movie review, interestingly. So check that out and then check out our other movie reviews that we got progressively better at, I think. <laughs> I think or so maybe too. this one's the best one and it was all downhill i don't know <laughs> if you'd like to see actual movie reviews we do have our channel unpop so up top on the right there's the clickety clack look it popped up even on mobile you can click it on the clickety clacker on your mobile phone or your or your pad or whatever you got your eye gizmo and uh you can check out uh, unpop where we actually do other movie reviews and we did the star wars trailer which we have all the hype for you could also follow hugo at hugo reloaded you can follow Jake at Bible Reloaded. You could also subscribe to the channel and get more things that we do. Also stuff. You could donate to our Patreon campaign if you'd like. We do a once a month patron only hangout. That's a lot of fun. We usually read like a little Christian comic and riff on it. We talk about stuff. Talk to the people in the live chat. Lots of fun. So if you want to be part of that, donate any amount of money. Literally. Yep. It could be like two cents. I shouldn't tell you that. But there's a trick that doctors <laughs> don't want you to know or something. Anyway, is that, what is that like one of those ads like the the fitness community is going to ban this in a week. Yeah. Get ripped quick. Yeah. Just like that. Ah, all right. But anyway. you can pay two cents to watch us be jackasses. Okay. <laughs> so thanks everyone. Until next time. I'm Hugo. And I'm not Josh. And this has been God's Not Dead 2 Electric Boogaloo. <laughs>